Well, so as this Queen stepped off onto the uh, walkway, there was a big cheer from the crowd, which has gone to about 500 now, which is pretty good given a couple of hours ago there's only a few dozen because of the weather. Um, so now they're starting to, to file out after seeing what was a very, very brief glimpse of the Queen. If you weren't here today and couldn't see her, there are a couple of other opportunities to catch a glimpse of her. On Friday, after the Queen opens Chogham, there'll be a motorcade through the city to Governor House. Again, the route there still being kept fairly secret, but it doesn't take a genius to work out that they're not far from each other, the PC, the Convention Centre and Government House. Um, and again, there'll be a, a motorcade um, on Saturday when they head towards the big Aussie barbecue down on the foreshore. And I'm told the Queen will also speak to the crowd at the, at the big Aussie barbecue, where they're expecting probably about 100,000. And the weather is supposed to be good for that one. And at her age, 85, public speaking engagements are quite rare these days. So it's a great opportunity to hear the Queen talk while she's here with us in Perth. This is a special edition of the 4.30 News. The Queen's visit to Perth is primarily for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting of Chogham. Alex Hart is in the city next to the Chogham headquarters. Alex, what are the Queen's royal duties for Chogham?